ஹலோ திஸ் இஸ் சரண்குமார் டிஎம் அசிஸ்டண்ட் ப்ரொஃபஸர் இன் பல்லாரி இன்ஸ்டிடியூட் ஆஃப் டெக்னாலஜி அண்ட் மேனேஜ்மெண்ட் பல்லாரி ஸோ டுடே ஐ ஆம் கோயிங் டு எக்ஸ்பிளைன் ஸோ இன்ஜினியரிங் கெமிஸ்ட்ரி கான்செப்ட் ஸோ நவ் ஐ எம் கோயிங் டு எக்ஸ்பிளைன் த ஃபஸ்ட் மாடியூல் இன் த இன்ஜினியரிங் கெமிஸ்ட்ரி ஸோ தட் இஸ் எலக்ட்ரோ கெமிஸ்ட்ரி அண்ட் பேட்ரி டெக்னாலஜி எலக்ட்ரோ கெமிஸ்ட்ரி அண்ட் பேட்ரி டெக்னாலஜி ஸோ நவ் ஸோ வி வில் ஸ்டார்ட் ஃபஸ்ட் த பேட்ரி டெக்னாலஜி பேட்ரி டெக்னாலஜி ஸோ த பேட்ரி டெக்னாலஜி so we can also call it as energy storage system so energy storage system is nothing but a battery so we can also call it as the energy storage system okay so first we will discuss the battery concept first and later we move on to the the energy that is electrochemistry chapter okay before going to start this battery technology first we must know that so what are the components present in the battery i think all are uh, know this uh, what are the components present in the battery the majorly the three components are very very important it is present in the battery one is anode the second one is cathode and the third one is electrolyte these three are the very very important the components present in the batteries so what is meant by anode is that the anode is always the oxidation reaction takes place oxidation reaction so in the cathodic part the reduction reaction is takes place the reduction reaction so the anode part is oxidation and the cathode part is reduction and the electrolyte we are used for conductivity purpose the conductivity purpose we are using the electrolytic sample solution okay so the, these are the important components present in the battery so now let's move on to the the next concept that is types of batteries types of battery the types of batteries majorly we are classified into the three categories one is primary battery second one secondary battery and the third one reserve battery there are classified into three categories primary battery secondary battery and reserve battery now we understand what is primary battery what is secondary battery and what is the reserve battery now the first one is primary battery so what is primary battery the primary battery we can also call it as irreversible battery irreversible battery so why we can call it as irreversible battery because of the batteries are not reversible and once the reaction is over the cell is dead is nothing but the reactant once it is converted into the product form so the battery is the reactant is converted into the product form the battery is dead so that's why that type of battery we can call it as primary battery means the charging is not takes place in this battery so only once the reaction is complete the battery is dead that type of battery we can call it as 
primary battery. Next, the example for the primary battery is dry cell. The dry cell is best example for the primary battery. The next one is secondary battery. The next very important battery because nowadays we are using the, uh, the secondary type of batteries. The secondary battery we can call it as the charging batteries. The charging batteries because we can easily charging these type of batteries. And the cell reaction is reversible. So once the reactant is converted into the product form, we can also convert the product into the reactant form. That type of battery we can call it as the secondary battery means the reactant is converted into the product and product is also converted into the reactant form means the number of charging and discharging takes place very easily in the secondary batteries. So the number of charging is nothing but a it is product is converted into reactant form discharge is nothing but the reactant is converted into product form that is discharging the product is converted into the reactant form that is called it as charging this type of battery we can call it as the secondary battery the now third one reserve battery the reserve battery so the best example of this one uh, in secondary battery is lithium ion battery so nowadays we are using maximum the lithium ion battery in uh, in our mobile phone okay so now coming to the next concept that is reserve battery the reserve battery these are similar to the secondary battery means the number of charging and discharging takes place very easily and the cell reaction is reversible means we can easily convert the reactant to the, the product form and product into the reactant form that's why the charging is takes place in the battery and the very important thing is some vital component is present in this battery that's why it is we can easily avoid the loss of energy in this battery so that type of battery we can call it as reserve battery loss of energy is nothing but a the self discharging so we can easily avoid the self discharging that's why we can call it as this battery is reserve battery okay thank you for the next video so we i am ex i am going to explain the particular example of batteries thank you